بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يرسل عليكم الشواز اليوم عالي والنحاس فلا تموت سيران فبيجي على إربكما تكذبان فإذا انشقت السماء فكانت ودة قدهان وبيجي على إربكما تكذبان صدق الله العلي العظيم Ninth class today, I will speak some terms, terms, terminologies, which are very important in the chapter of the biodiversity. This is lecture number 23. You are watching the slide. Of course, uh, uh, these terms are very useful because these terms will be helpful in the future learning. When you will, you are going to study detailed knowledge. These terms will help you. So one by one, I will explain. I will go to the terms. I will not waste the time. I am going to the terms. So first term, which I just want to tell you, a cellular. I have to identify. I have to magnify. I will just indicate also. Just hold on. I am going to indicate. Just give me little time. Just give me little time. I just want to indicate a cellular. A cellular. I want to show where it is written. Just hold on. A cellular, yes, this is the right idea now. A cellular, what is the A cellular? Anything, anything which is without cell. So this is prokaryote. No, prokaryote is a cell. So that is a eukaryote. No, eukaryote is a cell. Prokaryote is a cell. That's why I am telling that is without nuclear membrane. So that is the, that is the cell. Anything which is cell, that is cellular. I am talking with a cellular. Now you are thinking, what is a cellular? Mean without cell. I was telling you, without cell, life is impossible. I still telling you, without cell, life is impossible. So, which type of living thing, which is a cellular, and that is, which is a cellular, and that is without cell? Who is that? Can you guess? Of course, the virus. So, virus is without cell. Now this statement became wrong that the without cell the life is impossible because virus is a living living structure. No, virus is not a living structure. So how the virus is going to cause infection? Yes, virus can cause infection. These two words are contradictory to each other because they are against each other because at one part I am telling that virus can cause infection, can cause the disease, the living thing can cause the disease, non-living things cannot cause the disease. So if you are going to discuss that virus is living or non-living, so I will say once again the virus is between a living thing and non-living thing. No, this also word is not suitable. This word is also not suitable. We have to clarify. We have to justify the statement that virus is living inside the host and virus is non-living outside the host. Are you getting me now? Virus is living as well as non-living. When it is outside the body, it is non-living. It is nothing. When coronavirus is there in the utility store, coronavirus is there on the roads, coronavirus in, is in your house, coronavirus is in, the, is in anywhere outside the college, inside the college, until it is not in your body, this is non-living thing. It is nothing just like a paper, just like any non-living thing. So virus becomes your enemy when it, it enters to your body because it will get your biochemical energy by using your biochemical machinery, mean your cell of metabolism, doing the metabolism which is producing the energy by cellular respiration reaction. Glucose will react with oxygen, carbon dioxide, water will be produced, energy will be produced in the mitochondria of your each cell. That energy will be used by virus. Virus become become very strong living structure inside the host and virus is just non-living when it is outside the host so this is this is of course tricky this is of course tricky just like virus is outside it is nothing when it is inside your body it is atomic bomb because it is going to cause infection because it became living 
so this is a cellular structure why it is called a cellular structure this is also a story because i told in the, in some sessions in the uh, in the future also just composed of two things one is a protein and one is the nucleic acid nucleic acid are of two types one is the rna one is the dna you are in the junior section i will not explain much but rna and dna two integral parts of the nucleus two integral acids an important acid is a dna and dna makes the characters it is a hereditary material the genes are situated in the dna and some viruses are without dna the unique thing about the virus is that they consist of one nucleic acid mean either they will be consisting of rna either they will be consisting of dna i am explaining this term a cellular so who is a cellular the gentleman the virus okay ji. you understand the virus is so sir virus is not being adjusted into the five kingdom system of classification i cannot i cannot because all things you, you you tell me what are the less developed animals in the five kingdom system of classification munir sahab yes of course class munira class prokaryote 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 and prokaryotic when scientist discovered and heckle now i will tell you that bacteria is a living structure even outside as well as inside so bacteria is a living on both inside the host outside the host the virus is non-living outside the host how we can classify virus how we can classify classify non-living structures in the living groups we can't therefore virus we will study separately it's very difficult to study virus in detail you know virology the study of the virus is called the virology virology is a most difficult field of science i think personally because did you know the current scenario of coronavirus lot of the patients were there all over the world what is the what is the discussion going on all over the world in all over the media they are just searching who is coronavirus what is the what is the genetic makeup of the coronavirus it means our research level is little less even one year gone we are unable to produce an authentic vaccination and medicine because that is a so small structure and difficult to study virus reason is that because that is non-living we will be living only when it is in your body in your body research is very difficult bacteria you can search very easily because bacteria you can find outside living anything which is living outside easier to study okay you go back to this i will finish now go back to next term my dear students i am going to next term now that is i am indicating yes i have to indicate i know i know any malia so i will start from the top kingdom to the lowest kingdom the top kingdom is a kingdom any malia i will come once again the taxonomic hierarchy do you remember taxonomic hierarchy i spoke uh, this word taxonomic hierarchy h i e r a r c h y taxonomic hierarchy mean you are starting you are starting from the top group of animals and you are going to the lowest classification unit the top classification unit is kingdom lowest lowest classification unit is the species telling you in the last sessions but i will repeat because these are very necessary last two units are important due to naming because binomial nomenclature is based upon the last two units animalia the top kingdom two kingdom top kingdom classification taxonomist decided to divide all living things into animals and the plants they thought their work is over they just uh, dr drink a cup of tea over work is finished the work started in that time because the fungi say i am unique i am not going to adjust in animals and plants euglena says i am unique i am not going to adjust in the animals and the plants the bacteria says no no i am more unique the competition starts that was the actual game starts and three kingdoms were being discovered later on and because more than animals and plants now we go back to another one which is the binomial nomenclature i was naming binomial nomenclature binomial nomenclature what is the binomial nomenclature binomial nomenclature is that you will use the last two units the species and the genus for the naming of the animals and the plants remember the name of scientific name of some animal and plants okay in the last lectures you will recall i will speak one by one the human being you are mr homo sapien h capital letter the s small letter homo is the genus the sapien is the species we'll go back to another one the frog frog is the rana tigrina come rana tigrina r a n n a rana the capital r of the rana you will use a capital letter 
and the tigrina you will use a small letter so it means that tigrina rana tigrina so don't say any rana sahab you are frog i am not talking about this one any rana family you will say your, your name is frog no rana tigrina is the frog rana sahab is not the frog because if you want to name any animal or plant you have to use the species name that is the key of binomial nomenclature now I am going to another term, my sons, the biodiversity, the biodiversity, the biodiversity, that term is very important, biodiversity, I think that, that is total, uh, total decide that how much vast this living thing is in the world, because we think there are less number of animals and the plants. Even I was talking to you just a moment before, we think that only animal and plants are present. When you counted the prokaryotes, when you counted the fungi, when you counted the protista, they were more than animal and plants. They were more than animal and plants. If you see protista, you are just going to adjust those animal and plants who are not going to be the part of the animals, who are not going to be adjusted in the part of the plants, and they are not uh, being adjusted in the fungi, they are not being adjusted in the prokaryotes. So you made another phylum, just, it is just like the same that one member is not being shifted to, is not adjusting in any class, so you will make a new, you will make a new class. But the, this man is not being adjusted in ninth class, 10th class, 1st year class, 2nd year class, 7th class, 8th class, not being adjusted. So okay, we are unable to understand this kid. So what you will do, you will adjust in a, suppose X class, but he is an extraordinary person, he is a, he is a unique skills, so he is not going to adjust in this class, so it means protista is showing, protista kingdom is showing, animals we are unable to study until now, the living things we are unable to study until now, still research is needed, still viruses are being evolution taking place coronavirus study is currently telling us lot of viruses may come in the future more lot of bacteria have been evolved a lot which causes infection and we did not know them yet so it means biodiversity now this is the reason uh, what is the reason that biodiversity sir for example there are 100 people in the house so you can study 100 one by one so this research should finish why we are researching again and again and so many years we have and still we are unable to study all animals all plants are living thing evolution evolution coronavirus formed due to evolution new bacteria formed due to evolution the living things change their habitat change their structure according to habitat according to the current human is very different the five years back human because you can see one uh, one country made uh, f made uh, make just a human by using the fossils of 500 years back and that they were showing their anatomy and morphologically that human is a very different from the current human it means that when the habitat change when our surrounding change when our diet change and when the infect infection infectious material change in a, Allah Ta'ala made our body in such a way that we develop some changes according to habitat. Those changes after many years concluded in the form of evolution. The giraffe neck was small in the past. The neck become long because they were thinking by DNA the message passed to the daughter of suffering that the leaf must be little, leaves were up, the plants height was were being increased, they were un unable to approach their food and their neck automatically, not in one day, not in, not in even in the, not in the 10 years, many years counted and many generations will be in between and that is called the evolution. It is a series, the change of series of the change. To go back to the class, no students, uh, that is uh, not the class, your ninth class, that is the class we discussed, a classification, that is the one tax zone, that is the one tax zone. Okay, ji, we started the, we start the name of the tax zone from, we speak from the top tax zone, we go to the lowest tax zone, I speak once again, what is the top tax zone, phylum, PCO, judge, I told you the formula, PCO, judge, I told you the formula, okay, ji phylum and then come the class then come the order then come the family then come the genus then come the species and the last two units are important because we name animal and plants we name animal and plants on the basis of the genus and the species you have to speak full name if you will not speak full name of the 
pea plant, pea plant, full name, you studied, I told in last session, what is Paisam Stivum? If you will say Paisam, he will mind, my name is not Paisam, my name is Paisam Stivum, according to binomial nomenclature, because according to binomial nomenclature, you need to speak the genus name first of all, and species name later on, these two names, genus name, genus name, and the species name you have to speak. Okay, ji, we go back to the class. Class, uh, where the class come? Okay, ji, uh, you want uh, a sequence of this taxon. Each segment in the classification is called the taxon, and the plural is taxa, and the process is taxonomic hierarchy. We go back to classification once again. I start from the. I I will reach the class, and I will see at which level the this classification ends at class it never ends at class but i will finish this classification at the class we start from the top one kingdom then goes to phylum then goes to phylum then goes to class yes so after phylum the class will come now go back to the classification student classification is very important because you have are many in numbers in one college the management will classify you in different classes you cannot sit in one class if one class consists of ninth class student 10th class student first year students 12 year uh, student in one class the teacher will feel difficulty in delivering your lecture so what will happen they will manage you they will classify you in different sections and then they will uh, they, they will uh, they will expect that the teachers will be able to teach you so what will happen classification of the plants and animals are very necessary so why the classification of the plants and animals are very necessary to study them so what is the advantage to study animals and plants you will not study animals and plants you will not survive so how we will not survive if, if we will not study plants we will not study plants we will not be able to get good crops we will not be able to get the vegetables we will not be able to get the weeds so what will be the benefit to study the animals if you will not study the animals you, how you will get the milk from the buffalo how you will get your meat how you will increase the yield of the meat so what is the advantage of studying other living things if you will not study the bacteria the bacteria will keep causing you intensive diseases if we are not much patients of course the patients are there in the hospitals just because that we studied bacteria we developed antibiotic we developed the medicines and those medicines are going to kill the bacteria and we are able to survive so these things uh, in the senior sec in in the, in the coming uh, years you are going to read very in much detail those so students conservation i think this is a term i spoke less in the last sessions conservation so i need to speak this term in a little better way conservation conservation of everything is necessary if you have money you have to save the money you have to conserve the money if you have uh, you are solving the paper you have to conserve your time to solve all questions and similarly whatever you have in your uh, in your life you have to conserve the things similarly the animals who are multiple in numbers we have to conserve these animals we have to save these animals if they are not being saved like marco polo sheep dolphin and what will happen the dolphin in the in the sea of co coast of sind uh, you know that uh, we have a sea at the at the karachi near the karachi if you have visited that the dolphins are being decreased if any species is closer to decrease is decreased that is the endangered endangered species what will happen what will happen when we will not make control at worldwide department or pakistan animal department will not take control of this endangered species the species the species will finish dinosaurs is no available i was telling you in last session that dinosaurs uh, were, were available in the movie they are available in the movies they are not available physically they just use the fossils to develop the animals by computer by softwares so you have no dinosaurs you have no trainer source so what will happen you have to keep those animals alive such animals are endangered we have to conserve those we have to conserve those species if those species will not be being conserved mean we are unable to save that those species become extinct those species become extinct the students i am going to tell you 
that conservation, uh, uh, the endangered species are becoming more endangered in Pakistan because we are not in the, in the European countries that they are paying in, in attention to conserve the animals and here in Pakistan we are not, um, our department is not properly working. Therefore, the, many animals are being decreased in our jungles and jungles are being cut to develop the societies as well. We go to deforestation. This is, uh, I already told you deforestation. What well, two terms I will speak. Deforestation, afforestation, deforestation, you are removing the forest. What is the disadvantage? You are removing forest, it means you are decreasing the photosynthesis. If you will decrease the photosynthesis, you are decreasing the oxygen gas. When you are decreasing oxygen gas, you are not going to respire properly. When you will, are not going to respire properly, your oxygen will not be entered into your body. Your oxygen will not combine with hemoglobin. Oxyhemoglobin concentration will be less in the body. Oxygen concentration will be less in the body. Oxygen will be less supplied to the tissues. Oxygen will be less supplied to the tissues. Oxygen will be less available to react with the glucose. The glucose react with oxygen less. Glucose react with oxygen less. Carbon dioxide, water and energy will be produced less. Energy will be produced less. This energy will be less converted into ATP which are small packets of energy in your body. If I am speaking, I am just speaking because of breaking of my ATP molecules. In my pockets I have energy. I have small packets of energy. My small packets of energy are less. I am unable to speak. So it means deforestation suffers. Deforestation provides good habitat for us. Deforestation. Forest will decrease. Forest will decrease. So definitely our reactions, uh, photosynthetic reactions will, will decrease and the life will suffer because deforestation uh, plants are doing photosynthesis and they are produce, producing very useful gas which is being used in respiration. You did not study respiratory system in the 10th class, you will study your junior. So therefore I will speak only one thing, photosynthesis, respiration, these both processes are opposite and photosynthesis producing very good gas for you for respiration. And then your species I have already explained. So these terms students you have to remember Animalia, nomen, uh, uh, animalia and uh, no, binomial nomenclature, Carolus lineus, the biodiversity, the animals and the plants are scattered uh, in, the, uh, in the nature, the class, class is a taxon and that is a very important unit of comes after phylum classification, the study of the, uh, study of the classification of the plants and the animal is called taxonomy. If you are classifying plants animal on the basis of evolution that is called, that is called as, I am just listening, I just want to listen from you. I wrote in one slide, that's why I was telling you that I may send you slides if you, if you need that. Systemic, S-Y-S-T-A-M-I-C-S. -S. Conservation of everything is necessary and plants should be conserved. Deforestation, the forest decrease, the life finish. Oxygen not available. Ecosystem I explained in the last session. Endangered species, Marco Polo sheep. I am using these words because these are written in your book. You are junior students because lot of animals are being uh, endangered. And now students, these are general informations I am giving in these chapters. Now after that, you are going to enter true into biological field. Structure of cell, structure of mitochondria, structure of Golgi complex, structure of endoplasmic reticulum, structure of the ribosome, types of RNA, the tissues, the muscles, and the types of epithelial tissues, the respiratory, sorry, digestive system, circulatory system, blood group, structure of heart and bypass surgery even, arteries, veins, capillaries and the cardiac flow, amazing, these are much tricky and not tricky are, tricky is nothing, everything become easy when you develop interest, the very interested topics of our upcoming Krebs cycle, electron transport chain and melvin kelvin cycle, the part of the photosynthesis, Amazing. These are topics. Photosynthesis, function of the phloem, xylem, function of the phloem. These all will be the part of the ninth class. They will set up your future plan that how you will develop uh, learning in the biology. Thank you very much.